Welcome to the, uh, the third video uh, where I'm speaking about how to get out of the matrix. I told you the matrix is a prison of the mind. Something that you cannot see, touch, feel, sense, smell. It is in the mind. It is within you. It is all over you, but people do not see. And I told you very well that this, everything that you see in the world is geared towards keeping you entangled in the matrix that you'll never come out you'll never understand the power that you have you'll never understand that you're the chosen one of god you see all these people that you see around all the situation they are all agents they are all agents just to cast fear on you to cast doubt on you to cast depressions on you to cast all sorts of things on you and that's why i always keep and tell you not all people are human not all people are true not everything that you see is real and i told you there are several steps for you to get out of the matrix step one i told you you have to understand that you're in a dream world you're dreaming nothing is real in this world and after you understand that this is where you open your mind to a question and that question is what is the matrix and how do I get out from the matrix? And that is the moment now you start having something called the destructive truth. You start unlearning the lies, all the things that you've learned in your life. Dis destroy them, all the things which have been fake, evolutions and all that. The things that you've learned which are not true, investigate and understand. And from there is where we have something called the rest reconstruction you start reconstructing start using your mind for the first time start thinking with your mind and asking yourself okay mm -hmm, what is this let me reconstruct a picture of what i see the world to be and then from there number four we have self-knowledge this is the moment now where you start reading deep to define yourself to understand yourself you understand the path and you walk the path okay and at that moment you decide that you are the one not you discover but you decide okay then from there we have overcoming doubt remember after self-knowledge comes doubt doubt will come definitely to eat you up and to make you feel mm, no something is not right you have to overcome doubt and this sends us to point number six whereby uh, this point is called belief now doubt can only be overcome by belief Unless you believe, you can never overcome doubt. And the moment you believe, the whole plot, the whole world starts, you know, uh, the, the whole world starts turning in your favor. Have you ever understood the moment you believe is when people start wanting to even give you deals here and there? It's like when you sit in a room and you say, I want somebody to take my car from uh, to the car wash. And you have three guys there and somebody says, um, for me, I can drive, but I'm not really sure because I don't have driving license. Someone says, ah, it's been a long time I drove. I don't know. And somebody else says, I'm okay. I believe I can drive. I, I have the deal. I have everything. Who are you going to give your car? It is the one that has belief. And who are you going to give the tip? It is him. What about the others? No, because they don't believe. And belief comes from a point of understanding. So you cannot believe what you don't know. Even salvation is all about believing from understanding. You have to know that Jesus died for my sins, was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And then once you understand why he had to do that, then you believe. Then that belief is what gives you favor. All right. So be ready to die for what you believe. Because something that people don't know is that the whole world revolves around two choices. Belief and unbelief. I believe in something. One, I believe in this ones and i don't believe zero it's just ones and zeros ones and zeros everywhere is ones and zeros people be you believe you don't believe okay so stand your ground and after belief <clears throat> here comes the last and the final part of getting out of the matrix which is called love love is the moment you decide to die to self you die to self yourself you don't care about you but you care about others at that moment you've gotten out of the matrix what do i mean by dying to self when you die to self your flesh is dead but your spirit resurrects there is something within you which comes alive and that thing is what empowers us and gives us a lot of power you understand that belief powered by love can conquer anything think about it like this some thieves they they have come to your house Okay, thieves have come to your house. And then here is your child. Here is your wife. 
and then they decide they want to harm your family, what are you going to do? You're going to, because you have belief and you have love, the love will conquer all things. You will stand with those thieves and tell them, you can't touch my child. You can't do this to them. You rather kill me. What, what is happening? Because you have believed that these people, they are your people. You believe that you love them and the love is within you. You can conquer anything. You can stand out there and even t hold a snake with your bare hands and throw it out from your house because you don't want it to touch people that you, that you love. Because faith and belief, uh, faith and love, this belief and love is everything that you need. Now, you will start seeing the agents, the agents of unbelief, depressions, and all these things. They will start, <laughs> they'll just, you will start seeing them as they are. You just notice that they are just computer codes. The moment you have faith, and you have love. You start discovering that all these things that I feared, they are just computer codes. They have no power against me. You start discovering that the moment I believed in myself, everything aligned itself. Have you ever noticed that someone who believes in himself, mostly he ends up being a leader? Have you ever known that people who have faith in themselves, they end up always taking the best positions in everything? People who know their worth, who know who they are, they end up always having favor. Why? Because they have just discovered that everything else, they're just agents of distractions, things to pull you down and to pull you behind. Now you get to, to have the power to destroy these agents from within. And they start running from you. The moment you believe your faith, <laughs> that's the moment you'll discover that you have no fear. All these agents of fear, the agents of doubt, the agents of uh, depression, the agents of... The, you start destroying them from within because something in you has been ignited. And that is called love, which has belief. You love from a point of believing. And you finally get into a world without borders. This is the free world. You get out there and you understand who you are. And you stop being led by rules. Remember... You have to stay out of the rules. And these rules, they are created in your mind. That is what we call the matrix. I don't know if this one made any clear sense to you. Because unless you get out of the matrix, my friend, you're still inbound. And no wonder Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. The people are bound because they are still there. They still do not know. Why are people living in towns and in shanty places? In places where you see someone lives in the ghetto. He's, he, he has no life there. He's, he's in trouble every day. His children are, are staying in the sewage. And yet very well, he left a good piece of land in their home village. His father, his mother stays in the village. There is a farmland there. He can farm, he can stay, he can enjoy, he can have a good time with his children. But he's held up by the metrics. He still thinks that I have to stay in town because here is where all the opportunities are. My friend, you're in the metrics. You do not understand the truth that going out there to be a free bird, to go out there and discover who you are and enjoy the time with your family, enjoy the time with your people, that is living. This other thing you're not living. You're just living in a sewage. So what, what is the conclusion of the matter? Thinking deeply is the secret to waking up and knowing the truth. The moment you start thinking, the moment you start thinking and asking yourself questions in everything, then you have started getting out of the matrix. Think. Use your mind. Stop using people's minds. Stop. Even if you're watching someone's, Watch that someone, but read the Bible for yourself. Ask yourself, is it what I'm reading? Is it exactly what the pastor is reading? Is it what he's preaching? Get to understand. Get to understand the systems. Get to use your mind. Think deeply. And for sure, you'll get out of the matrix. Hope this one made sense to you. And hope it open some of your people or of you, your brains so that you can be able to understand how to get out and be free free indeed.